Hello and welcome to this brief overview of version 9 of PowerQuote from Pricelinks. PowerQuote can help you produce more professionally presented tenders in less time. So to get started we can either create a new tender or open up an existing one as I do here. Just before I select one from the list it's worth pointing out that there are analysis reports that can be run. This will help you analyze where you're winning your work. So if I select an estimate from the list here. You can see it's one I've already started working on. We've got mains, distribution, power, lighting and fire alarm sections already in there. These could just as easily be house type A, B, C, etc. So if we go and add uh, another section now, a new empty one, we can either type the description in there or just pick one from the drop down list, which is what I'm going to do. So if I select the section I want to work on. We can see now we're in the emergency lighting section that I've just added. We're on the takeoff tab and as the estimate progresses we'll see a running total of our material costs and our labour times for the section. Below this will be our takeoff sheet for the estimate and at the bottom is our database where we locate products from. If you have a, a database update description from us, then obviously your, your prices on the database will be updated automatically. This can run as a service in the background, so you don't need to load any disks or files. If I start off by simply selecting the manufacturer range, okay, we've got MK here, and if we want, we can drill down and pick up the Logic Plus. So you can see we're just limited to Logic Plus of MK. Another way to locate products is to use commodity codes. So you can see we've got all different types of commodities. And if I select wiring accessories and perhaps the uh, sockets, then you can see we're now limiting it to sockets from MK. If I just remove MK from the, the range there, it will now go through and start at Ackerman and if I scroll through you can see we've got all the various different types of manufacturers coming up and that will go on for quite a while if I don't stop it so I'll leave it there. If I clear that off, uh, another way if you know the catalog number you can always just type the catalog number in to pull, pull your product up. Uh, if I, in fact I'll do that now so if I go for a piece of emergency lighting, pull it up put in a quantity and then if we want we can edit the fitting times just for this input line if I click this here it will update it on the database for the next time we want to add this item in. We can alter our preferential discounts that we've set against the range and if we're working from a bill of quantities we can enter the, the bill of reference here and then just change it when we move on to the next bill. Okay, so if I add those onto the job, we can see we've now got 12 of those. There's our piece of equipment, trade price, our preferential discounts, material cost, fitting time, and then the, the total cost and, and time for that item. The discounts you can see are in the database against the, the products or discounts which we've previously input against the ranges. So whilst we supply you with the trade prices, you put your own preferential discounts against those to get your own net prices. Another way we can locate items is by using description. So if for instance I want um, a 100 mil axle fan then if I type the, the key elements into the description it will search for the descriptions of all the products and bring up our 100 mil axle fans. Again, it's listing them in manufacturer order alphabetically. One thing I've not shown you so far is an option to order by cost, which is quite useful. So if you've not had a, a product specified, you can list any of your products by cost. So if I just run that search again, and this time we can see they're not in any specific manufacturer order, we've still got our axle fans but this time they're listing in cost order. Probably the best and most suitable way to add products to an estimate is to add assemblers and kits. If I start off say a 6 gang grid switch 
you can see here we've got all the components we need for the assembly I just add the quantity and then add it onto the job and as you can see there's our grid switch and it's multiplied all the quantities up and extended the totals for us another type of assembly we might use is um, a linear assembly and to show you one of those we've got a, a trunking run here and what we're saying is for every meter of cable we've got a meter of trunking we've got all our fixings that we need and a third of a coupler assuming that this piece of trunking comes in three meter lengths as it does okay so I just pop on 25 meters there and again you can see we've got 25 it's multiplied up the quantities for us and extended those out any of the items we add to the takeoff can be edited at a later stage either individually or as a group or as a section we can insert items part way through we can add text we can search and replace either individual items or change one range of products for another we can also copy and paste individual items or complete sections in fact PowerQuote supports a multiple document interface so if I show you what I mean by that if I call up another estimate you can see it's just cascaded them so I'll tile them out so we can see them better we've now got two estimates open in the program we can open as many as we like but if I just want to take a section here say the fire alarm I can copy it move over to the other job and paste it straight in there and we're able to do that without having to open and close estimates continually or shuffling windows about and so on okay so I maximize that screen if we want we, we can add preliminaries and um, provisional sums to the estimate with the start of our preliminaries any preliminary costs we add will be split proportionately over your unit rates and sections they can also be limited to individual sections you can see here with the lighting or the tower I should say we've just added that to the lighting section or they can be limited to certain to uh, commodities such as the uh, plant here we've just added to the labour element and again the cost can be added either as a percentage as we have here with the the overheads works out the cost for us or we can just put them in as a cost as we did with the other two items and then down the bottom half of the screen we have our provisional sums and you can see we've added a uh, thousand pound in there if I move on to our markup screen we can see here I've uh, used two types of labour an approved electrician and an apprentice we've got the hours that they've taken, the rates for each of them which can be edited if we want, we've then got the prime costs, the markup which can be edited, it gives us a profit which can also be edited and the selling price and go gross profit. Then we've got five material types listed here with both the material types and the labour we can have more groups if we want we just happen to have five set up here again these can be edited same as with the labour at the bottom we have the subtotals and then the totals for our prelims we've then got our main contractors discount followed by our provisional sums giving us the total for the job listed below here we can see costs and sell prices uplifts for the total job and for each individual section so if I want to edit something we can if I alter the markup there on the the apprentice rate you can see it updates all the totals everywhere for us immediately the other way we can alter it, as I said is to put in the amount we want to see on the job so if I want 1200 of my general materials again updates it straight away the other thing we could do is just alter the, the total price, just set the total price and it'll work everything back for us. So what we've done here is applied uh, markup and profit to all sections. 
we could if we wanted apply them to any of the individual sections like the, the power section or the lighting section again you can just go in and edit the markup the profit the total or the rates for those so a lot of flexibility in there there's a complete labor matrix as well which will allow us to enter productivity amounts uh, GIB rates travel cost lodging allowance we can apply a template letter or edit it if we want and that will go with uh, a quotation report we can also add data sheets to the estimate and email those off when we email our reports if I move on to the reports we can see there's quite a lot in there various different management reports material listings we can produce an invoice bill of quantities quotations tender summaries and then we get on to our assembly rates and a complete breakdown with unit rates our reports can carry graphical images so if we want our company logos on our reports that's possible or perhaps we might want to use our letterheads on the reports again we can do that and any of the reports can be previewed on the screen printed off saved in various formats including Excel and PDF Quattro Lotus whatever you want or they can just be emailed straight off in addition to adding your letterheads, company logos etc you can also edit the reports to fine-tune them layout etc how you want to see them so if I just quickly put up a quotation report to start with we can see it's applied our letterhead it's also added our signature for us and then we go on to the quotation it gives us the selling price for each section our provisional sums and the total sell for the job and the other thing quotation report will do for you is it will include your personal terms and conditions for you so we send that off next thing is we've won the job they're going to come back probably and ask us for a schedule of rates we'll probably send them out a schedule of assembly rates so if we look at the mains distribution apart from just the total now we can see a breakdown of the assemblies we've got the mains tails and trunking in there the main switch switchboard distribution board earthing etc if we're working for a um, local authority they may want a lot more detail than that so they'll probably be asking for a schedule of unit rates and there are various different types we can have here uh, they might even ask you to split it into labour and material elements for a complete breakdown so if I pull that one up we can see that with our mains distribution now we have a breakdown of every item on the job split by both material and labor so we've got a complete breakdown on that one you can have supply only unit rates, install unit rates, you can have commissioning rates there's an awful lot to show you here this has just been a very brief overview of PowerQuote if you have any questions, would like to know more or would like a full presentation of the program then please contact us at pricelinks.co.uk thank you very much for your time